Hello, James Stewart here again with another hacking video of Super Mario 64. I mean, Mario 64. I've been known in America of a good friend of mine called Mega Mario 2007 who's Australian. For example, in England we say emulator, in America you say emulator, and instead of Project 64 you say Project 64 and instead of beta you say beta there we go we're all friends right I just wanted to show you a little preview of a hack I'm working on in Mario 64 now some of you may remember a YouTube video showing someone playing as Mario with Peach's head now I've been trying to recreate the same effect but using codes rather than a ROM hack and go one further, i.e. completely transform Mario into Peach. Now this is what I have done so far. Peach's head, part of Peach's body and Peach's arms. Now you may notice that Mario reappears uh, when running. This is one of the many complications because of Nintendo, well being Nintendo, a bit drunk perhaps. Um, so there are lots of different Mario models which means a lot of changes now I'm just using Peach here for reference changing parts over to check out what they are now for example just doing the head poses many problems because when the characters blink they don't just change their eye textures they cycle through different heads so they would have a head with eyes open, a head with eyes half open, a head with eyes closed, etc. So what it means is lots more changes. But the result is very very good because we can use Mario's animation and have Peach's graphics. However, as I've said there are lots of problems such as one character having body parts that the other doesn't for example Peach doesn't have legs no she doesn't she's legless so Mario has legs but Peach doesn't so that and Peach wearing a dress is going to be one of the many problems also Mario's head is about twice the size of Peach's that's why it looks so strange with Mario with Peach's head and calls her hair separately bit at the back oh Nintendo if only you knew right while I have this opportunity I'd like to bore you a bit more by showing you how I hack using my equalizer which is basically an action replay and more advanced version okay so this is the in-game menu which you bring up by pressing the button on the equalizer and we have several options here unlike with an emulator you use on your computer you can't just easily turn the codes off or on with an equalizer you have to turn on all the codes you want at the start the boot menu then you have to turn them off or on as need be as you've probably seen in a few of my videos so that's what the first option is next we have the code generator which is for well I think you can work that one out right we have an 8 bit and 16 bit search so 8 bit is 0 to 255 and 16 bit is 0 to 65535 then we have a known or unknown search so for example if you wanted to find Mario's lives okay we can clearly see he has four lives left so we would do a known value search 8 bit would be fine uh, search for four then we would purposely lose a life or gain a life and then search for the new value if you had something a bit more complicated like a health bar in a game like Mortal Kombat for example you would use an unknown value search 
you would then start the search, you would search for the memory, record all the values, then you would lose some health or gain some health and do a less or greater than search. However, it's a lot slower to find codes that way and there's no guarantee that losing health would be a less than search for example, but you could try the other way around. So that's for creating the codes. Then other options we have are view graphics memory. This is a very nice feature where you can look at the various frames in memory. You can also see the textures though they're very tiny so you probably wouldn't be able to see much detail. Then we have the memory editor. This is very powerful tool. On the left we have the addresses in hexadecimal. In the middle we have the data which is also in hexadecimal and on the right we have the text if there is any text stored in ASCII which is a standard for storing text but not everyone uses um, that standard. So I could do a search for Mario like so if I could spell him and you spell Mario it's a me a Mario almost there it's a bit slow as you can see as you don't have a keyboard you have to use the um, controller to change your letters be like entering a high score really here we go now it's just searching please wait there we are, Mario Face Program, and that's from the credits because that is stored in the normal way. Then uh, we can hover the cursor over the various values. We can increase and decrease using the camera up and down buttons. Also, we can press Z to increase or decrease the whole value at once. Well, thank you for watching this video, and thank you for my many subscribers and people who comment on my video. And well, thanks for watching, and bye for now.